Welcome! This is Video 2 Overview of the Candidate's Guide. This guide provides a variety of resources and instructions to assist you in completing and filing the required paperwork to run for elective office. So let's get started and take a look at the contents of the guide. So that the contents can be quickly reviewed, I will expand all of the bookmarks. Note that this is an overview. Specific instructions and requirements will be provided in the next set of videos. You can read about city government, being a member of city council, including meetings, compensation, terms of office, and staffing. You can learn about records and disclosure, review the city's organization chart, and have access to citywide maps and district maps associated with this election. Under running for office, you can find information about who can run for office and learn about the nomination process. This includes the nomination period, candidate forums, submission of nomination documents, deadlines, and withdrawal of candidacy. Also discussed is the order of names on the ballot, and this section provides a candidate action calendar for review. The nomination petition section reviews signing the petition, the candidate's information, circulating the petition, the affidavit of nominees, supplemental petitions, handling the petition, and finally includes a sample of a nomination and supplemental petition. The ballot designation section covers how to select a ballot designation from one of four options. The name of the candidate's elective office, the term incumbent, the terms appointed incumbent or appointed, or a candidate's principal profession, vocation, or occupation. Under this last category, additional requirements are discussed, including rules regarding the use of retired. Unacceptable ballot designations are also reviewed, including avocations, pro forma profession, vocations and occupations, and statuses. Review of the ballot designation worksheet is discussed, as well as providing a sample designation worksheet. The next section reviews the Statement of Economic Interest Form 700, including completing and filing the form, future filings, and providing a sample of the form. The Candidate Statement section reviews the cost of the statement, the manner of payment form, requesting indigence, the standard word count, statement content and format, withdrawal of the statement, and confidentiality of the statement. Samples of the candidate statement form, manner of payment form, declaration of indigence, and statement of financial worth are provided. This next section reviews the biographical form and candidate image and provides a sample form and image. The Code of Fair Campaign Practices section reviews this voluntary pledge, discusses the applicability of provisions 5 and 9 of the code, and provides a sample of the form. Next, we have campaign reporting requirements in general, how to get started, and establishing a bank account. Campaign disclosure reporting forms are reviewed, including the requirement to file electronically, the Form 501, Form 470, Form 410, and Form 460, including per election reporting requirements, and finally the Form 497. Deadlines for all reporting forms are also included. There is a section to review for defeated candidates, for outgoing office holders, handling surplus funds, and terminating a campaign committee. A summary of filing deadlines for the primary and general election are also provided. The local campaign provision section reviews contribution limits, missing contributor information, large political committees, election periods, and off-election years. Written solicitation by candidates and required notices is also discussed, as well as transferring of funds. A summary of election years and contribution periods is provided, as well as a current list of registered large political committees. The next section reviews general election activities, such as campaign sign regulations for the City of Sacramento, including permission of property owner, political and campaign signs, public areas, Old Sacramento, and enforcement, as well as the County of Sacramento regulations and enforcements. Political advertising is discussed, including mass mailings, false or misleading information, such as implied status, 
simulated ballots, political cyber fraud or superimposing images of a candidate, electioneering on election day, and voter registration information. And finally, the resource section provides information related to California legislation, the Fair Political Practices Commission, as well as the city and county of Sacramento. This ends the overview video of the informational series. For the next set of instruction, watch video 3, The Nomination Process. Thank you.